of like the last frontier, isn't it? <laughs> in Dublin, because nobody knows what the docks was like, unless the people that were there. Everybody has a connection to the docks, but they don't know what they do. And there's some sort of romanticism to that. And the story of like the lads all going to the pub, then going back to the hatch. There was almost, there were no rules, but they didn't slack, they got the job done. And they're probably the hardest working people that this city has ever produced. My name is Lee Coffey and I'm the writer of In Our Veins. The show is about a Docker family over the course of 97 or 100 years of Dublin. So it starts off at the funeral of a Docker in 2019 and we follow the story of his mum and where he came from and his birth and then we go from 1922 to 1938, his first day on the docks with his dad. 1938 to 55 when he meets his wife, 55 to 71, through decasualization, containerization of the docks, and his retirement and his eventual death to bring us back to the start of the play. Now I tried to put the blend between a theatrical show and as well as trying to hide the research without just bashing people over the head with it. That was the toughest part, because you have so much from the port and the docks, as well as the monto, and try to tie that together in a way that makes sense that people that don't know anything about the docks would care about and that they'd easily be able to follow across 100 years and to make the history of it clear. All the same world doing the port justice and doing the men justice and the people that we're telling this story. As soon as I read it, I was dying to get involved. It's, you know, it's a great play. Um, I kind of found the idea of it a bit scary. It was definitely going to be a challenge, um, but I always think that's a good thing. <laughs> well, as you can probably tell from my accent, I'm not a dub. <laughs> Um, so I'm from South East England originally, but I've been living in Dublin for 17 years now. Um, so I know Dublin fairly well, it's been my home for, for a good length of time, but I also feel I'm still constantly discovering um, things about Dublin's history. And I love, I love that, I love discovering more about a city and about a place. The fact that one specific area you know, of the city can have been through so many transformations you know in a relatively short amount of time um, but at the same time you feel like the people haven't changed that much there's that salt of the earth you know goodness uh, and sense of community that I feel is still present within that area. Yeah so I was more nervous about the dockers coming to see the play than anybody else because I sat down with them and they invited me in and listened let me talk to them and ask them any question I wanted and they were honest with me so I wanted to make sure that I did them justice, so when they came to see the show, they didn't go, that does, that's not what the docks was like, but they all come up afterwards and they said it was the most accurate depiction they had seen, which to me is, that's just the review you want, isn't it? I think it just really made me think about how hard life was for people. You know, that people constantly say nowadays, you know, oh, I'm starving or I'm freezing but that people back then actually were starving and freezing. You know, we sometimes don't realise how lucky we are, and I think working on a play like this does make you, you know, aware of, of how lucky we are.